Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the worst magic card ever. My definition of worst magic card relates a little bit to money and that card that you open a booster pack and that is the one card from that set you do not want to see of all time. So we're going to not talk about how good the card is, we're going to talk about how much you do not want to see the card. And this is kind of the idea behind this is if you're paying $10 a pack and you have X amount of mythics in a box and X amount of mythics in a case, you definitely don't want to see Comet Storm because every other mythic in the set is worth a lot of money minus Comet Storm. And I don't feel like there's ever been a card more dreaded from a pack opener than Comet Storm. It just is not a card you want to open. And that's my definition of the worst magic card ever, not based on what it does. Comet Storm actually is a pretty decent magic card but if you're going to pay ten dollars a pack and what every other pack has a 20 to possibly $200 mythic and you only have X amount of mythics a box, well, you do not want to see Comet Storm. And that's my definition of worst mythic ever and worst Magic the Gathering card ever. It's the card that you never want to see when you open a pack. Now, that being said, I don't understand why it was reprinted. I don't understand why Goblin Guide was not reprinted. Uh, maybe there's a good explanation for it. Maybe Goblin Guide is in the event deck, hopefully as a four of, fingers crossed. But Comet Storm as a mythic, had they reprinted Splinter Twin as Mythic and then Goblin Guide as a rare, that makes perfect sense to me. Every Mythic you pull has a Mythic feeling and there's not like this gut-wrenching, stomach-dropping feeling that you just pulled a Comet Storm and you probably have just killed your Mythic ratio. Overall, I've never seen a case where the pack is so expensive, it's $10 a pack at retail and MSRP, probably maybe even more depending on how much supplies out there and on top of that you can pull this card and on top of that every other card mythic that you could have pulled was epic and worth a lot of money <laughs> it's crazy right absolutely crazy that there's such a discrepancy over comet storm versus every other mythic for a $10 plus booster pack of cards. That is my definition of the worst card ever obviously comet storm again I'll repeat again it is a good card but it is not, it is the card I least want to see for any, if I pull, buy cons of Tarkir booster pack or booster box or fat pack, it's okay to pull crap. But if I'm buying a booster box of Modern Master 2015, it really is gut-wrenching if you pull a Comet Storm. I, I just, yes, it's a Tomogorf lottery, but also it's avoiding the Comet Storm. 